let's begin this thing. Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Good evening. Thank you so much for being here. It's nice to have you one more time. As you may know, we have another beautiful day, which is the Monday. Yeah, we have Monday, um, October 9th, 2023. And we are learning English here on this module. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you and welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. We're going to have, um. let me see, class number nine today. So thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Uh, we're going to start also working with section number four, uh, which is for this week. Uh, so the topic for today is going to be appearance. So we're going to work with this thing on today's class. And as I told you before, we're going to start with section number four, which is the title is What Does She Look Like? That's the title of this um section number four. Janessi Alexandra Lopez. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Good it's evening. nice. Good it's evening. nice to have you one more time. How are you today? Um I'm okay. I'm a little oh. tired, but I'm okay. Oh, sounds good. It's nice to have you. Do me a favor. What do you understand? What is the meaning of the title of this section? What's that? What does she look like? Um, uh, it means about the physic, uh, como se dice características. Characteristics. Uh, about the physic characteristic of a person. Oh, thank you so much. That is correct. Yes. Thanks. This could be a person, this could be an animal, this could be a city, or also this could be something, yeah? Very good, Janessi. That's wonderful. So we're going to work with appearance. This is pre-intermediate module number two. And this is our class number nine. So thank you so much, everybody, for being here. It's my pleasure. And let's begin. Oh, Briseida, thank you so much. Now, Sandra, Naomi, oh, thank you so much. Also, Ileana. Okay, Ileana, I'm sorry to hear that. And I hope you can get well as soon as possible okay we're gonna start with this video i'm gonna play this video for you to listen and a repeat pronunciation at home we're gonna have some vocabulary as you may hear as you may see here in this picture which is related to physical appearance so i want you to listen the video and um also listen and repeat at home pronunciation okay uh, my suggestion as well is write write the vocabulary in your notebook as you see here we have hair age and height okay so hair age and height yes so my suggestion is write also the vocabulary so you can practice a little bit more of this one the first thing is just to listen and repeat and then please write on um, the vocabulary in your notebook just let me check out you here so if we can oh yes we have it let's listen hi welcome to section nine in this section you will learn vocabulary to describe people look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me hair long brown hair short blonde hair straight black hair curly red hair bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, 
curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Hi, welcome to section 9. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Hi, welcome. The vocabulary, as you may see, that we were working on the video. Yes, the first thing is about hair. So here we have these people with different kind of hair, right? And we can mention them uh, based on the way they look. So you see people, right? And you say, oh, this girl has long brown hair. Okay, vamos a ocupar el verb has. Okay, has. Or have is that is plural. Okay. Here we have also in the middle, will we have age, which is young, middle age, and elderly. Well, that's an elderly person, we can say, right? Uh, here we have looks. If you see, when we want to talk about uh, somebody's appearance, um, you can say handsome. Yes, is that is a boy, you can say handsome. Good looking is usually when, I mean, both of them, I mean, dress well, and they uh, always look, let's say, great. And this one is pretty, okay? She's pretty, okay? Um, here we have with um, height, height. We have uh, what goes uh, con estatura, right? Height, we have short. Oh, this person is quite short, uh, fairly short, right? Uh, medium uh, height pretty tall and this is like very tall yeah so we, we use this expression when it comes to um communicate appearance depending on the context the first one is about hair the second one is about age the third one here in light blue is about looks and the one at the end here in yellow is about height okay um, here we have other words that or expressions that we use when it comes to communicate the way people look. Okay, uh, what is another example that you can tell me that you use when you describe people? Anybody? What is another like, adjective that you use to describe people? Skin or Excuse me? Skin. Skin. Oh, skin. Oh, skin, like this one? Uh, yes. Or es, es skinny, like this one? Ah, uh, creo que es ese. No sé, delgado, pero no sé cómo se escribe. Oh, ah, uh, creo que es thin. Oh, thin? No sé. Okay, give me a minute. Or like this one, thin? Uh -huh. Okay, yes. I mean, I think both of them are correct. If you say someone is skinny, yeah, that is that is correct as well, as far as I know. Uh, but I think it's go with double N. Skinny, yeah, a skinny person and think are quite the same. Solo creo que cuando es skinny es cuando pues ya se nota un poquito bastante delgado, right? Bastante delgado. Y think, pues una persona creo que delgada, normally. Yes? Okay, very good. Okay, otra forma de describir people, de describe people. Mm -hmm. What, what is an, what? excuse me? What? 
Oh, fat. Oh, fat. Yeah, very good. But this one is quite offensive. Remember, this one is quite offensive. Entonces, um, uh, también esta otra que es quite the same, heavy. Yes. Eh, cuando nos vamos a referir a, a, referir a, a weight, y es pues, el peso de alguien, right? A veces decimos fat. Eh, pero este fat, pues, es un poquito offensive. Entonces, cuando usted le dice a una persona, oh, you look fat. Well, pues, el, el adjective is, is negative. Yes, I know that you describe that. Pero, pues, el que más ocupamos no, no, para... Exactly, exactly. Sí, Entonces, sí. Yeah. Para hacer un poquito más, um, let's say, um, soft. Correct. The correct is. Uh, no, como ser un poquito más soft, let's say. Soft, uh -huh. como un poquito más amable o un poquito más suave with the vocabulary. Uh, podemos utilizar heavy, ok. Oh, Very she looks, light. Uh, Tal vez no tan polite, pero, pero sonar un poquito, um, <laughs> un poquito polite, let's say, right? Yes. Semi-polite. Exactly, exactly, right? So we can say, oh, okay. yeah, kind of heavy, okay? Yeah. Um, yes, very good. Perfect, perfect. Yes. Uh, something else, okay? Utilizamos also la palabra beautiful, right? Beautiful as well. Uh, it's another one, very common, that we use in English, or... Oh, Eh, también hay otras como gorgeous. Oh, she looks gorgeous. Okay. Más que todo lo utilizamos con, con mujeres, right? Beautiful, uh, gorgeous. Okay. Um, pero las básicas son estas que están acá, right? If you see those. Yes. Um, any question about this? Eh, ¿Entienden este vocabulary que está aquí, María Vilma? Do you understand the vocabulary? Maria Vilma, hello. Thank you. Good evening. Entiende el vocabulary, Maria Vilma? Um, so, so. Okay. ¿Cuál lo entiende para apoyarle ahí? ¿Mm? Sorry. ¿Cuál vocabulary you do not understand? ¿Cuál vocabulary usted no entiende? Yep. Yeah. A uh, mustache. Oh, a mustache. Okay, mustache. a mustache here. Mire, este es un mustache. Yes. Acuérdese que el mustache es el de Vicente Fernández, right? Que tiene acá. Eh, Freddie Mercury also, she, he used to have a mustache, right? Yeah, he used to have a mustache. So, mustache is el bigote. Yeah. El bigote, right? And uh, okay. beard. Beard. Beard is la barba. Yes. La barba, okay. yeah. Uh, algunos no tenemos, right? Pero otros, yes, they, they have a lot. Okay, a, nos, a otros no sale así. Tres por allá, otros allá por, yeah, December, but, so we don't have those. So, al, algunos, yes, they have. Okay, o, otro vocabulary, uh, Maria, that you, you do not understand? Yep. Mm. Solamente este, teacher. No. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, uh, ayúdeme, please. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Freddy. El, el sentido de good looking es como bien visto, no sé. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Sí. O sea, cuando alguien se ve bien, when, when somebody like, pues, eh, se ve, pues, um, como bien Catrín, decimos aquí en el sábado. Ah, Catrín. Uh, bien Pipiris Nice. Exacto. Uh, so, ahí usted lo ve. Oh, no, hombre. Qué bárbaro. Uh, Yes. Perfect, perfect. Uh -huh. yes, that's that's good looking. That's the expression. Some sometimes when we go to a wedding, yes, when we go to a wedding or to a 15th birthday party, sí, o, o por ahí en December, right? Eh, nos ponemos nuestras mejores fachas, right? Ahí todos bien, Catherine. So, oh, you say, oh, look at you. You look great. Yeah, you're good looking. Yes, esto pues para las dos, right? Para masculine and feminine. Eh, Marcos, thank you. No sé si, si podría entenderlo mejor como alguien de buen vestir, quizás. Se puede Exacto. Para mm -hmm. ese, muy confuso, creo, el otro, de, bien, de buen ver. Oh, yes. De, se, se, ¿Es posible? Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Um, we can use it like that. Yep. That, that, someone who looks, um, I don't know, very nice. Yes, uh, ayúdenme, please. Let me see. Eh, Ronald, 
Hello, Ronald. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, Ronald. Good evening. Thank you. Nice to have you. Can you participate, Ronald? Yes or no? Okay, Cindy. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay, Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. It's nice to have you. Do me a favor. Read this vocabulary, please. Thank you. Este, el de bol. No, uh, read, read, Ana. Uh, read. Exactly. Uh, read. Please, the vocabulary. Yes? Este vocabulary, Le Leer. Yes, very good. So read the vocabulary, please. Uh, uh, todos. Yes. Okay. Y la puede poner un poquito más grande la pantalla. Oops. Casi yo no, uh, no veo la letrita. Mm, ahí sí no, no puedo, fíjese. De, no. Sí, de, de okay. mi parte sí no puedo. Vamos a lo que usted ahí. tal vez le dé zoom ahí. Sí, sí. Lick se puede dar zoom en el celular o la cosa. Ajá. Pero ese es de parte de ustedes, ¿verdad? Right? Yes. Uh -huh. Ahí le puede dar zoom. Sí, pero ahorita no, no, ahorita no se lo veo el zoom. No se lo ok. Encuentro. Voy a leerlos así. Este, ok, trate. Okay. Long brown hair. Sí, uh -huh. ok. Long brown hair. Short brown hair. Stray black hair. Curly red hair. Ball. A uh, mustache. A uh, uh, bear. Young, middle open. Middle age. Middle. Middle, middle age. Yes. Este no lo entiendo. No lo veo. El siguiente, handsome. Uh -huh. uh, good looking, pretty. Yes. Y luego, height is short. Yes. Fairly short, yes. medium height, mm -hmm. y pretty, pretty tall, yes. y very tall. Thank you so much. Okay, this is fairly short, fairly short, Fair, fairly short, and this is elderly, elderly. Okay, so this vocabulary is about describing people, right? Appearance, the way they look. Um, we're going to work with this one here, as you see. Choose at least four expressions to describe yourself and your partner. Okay? So, vamos a escribir de los adjectives que ustedes escribieron, de los que estaban here. Yes. Usted va a agarrar solo cuatro. Yes. Primero va a ocuparlos para usted. Yes. Entonces viene usted, los escribe here, right? Y luego me va a escribir acerca de, un, de somebody else. Yeah, ya sea de your classmate here in the class, ya sea de su coworker, ya sea de su husband or de su wife, or I don't know, somebody else. Yes, just to describe the way this person looks. Yes, Anna, do you understand? Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. If you have a question, let me know. Luego, when you finish, we're going to have, you have long blonde hair, you are pretty tall. I don't think so. My hair isn't very long. Okay. When you finish, tell me so we can talk about it. And we can identify, let's say, how do we make sentences using this vocabulary. Okay. But first of all, it's about you. Just write four adjectives that describe your appearance. Okay, I don't know about your hair. I don't know about your age. Okay, about what else? Your height. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then you need to write four adjectives describing somebody else. Yeah somebody else oh somebody wrote here in the chat okay okay ronald thank you so much no problem 
Oh, Freddy, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, when you finish, if you want to participate voluntarily, uh, just raise your hand so I can hear. If not, I will pick a few of you so I can hear the way you did it. Okay. Okay, this is about describing people's appearances, how the way they look. Right, and we use these adjectives depending on the things that we want to communicate. Okay. Okay, let's see. Claudia, have you finished? Not yet. So in here, what you gotta do is you need to write the adjectives, right? Young, um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Black hair. Um, yeah. And in here, uh, do you remember verb to be? Yes. We're going to use verb to be here and also the verb have or has. Well, if that is someone like he or she, we're going to use has or negative. Yeah. So uh, just let me check. Okay, uh, with this Jacqueline. Hello, Jacqueline. Good evening. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Jacqueline. Hello, hello, Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. Hello, Jacqueline. Are you here? No? No. Okay, let's work with... Um, let me see. Jorge. Hello, Jorge. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Can you participate? Uh, I, I, I only two. Oh, you just have two? Sí. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Um, voy a borrar esto a little bit y voy a... Um, Oh my gosh, I'll put this here. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, so there we have, let me see if I can take a picture so I can send it to you on, on this WhatsApp group that we have. Oh, somebody did it already, Edith. Very good, Edith. That's very nice. Edith, she mm -hmm. sent the picture on WhatsApp. Yeah, so you can check that. Over there you have the adjectives. So you can use the adjectives, like if you want to talk about your hair, 
you have some adjectives. Also, if you want to talk about, um, I don't know, your age, or if you want to talk about your look, or if you want to talk about your height. So you can use the adjectives that are over there to talk, to, to describe it the way you are. Freddy, have you finished? Oh, okay. Can you tell me the adjectives that you got for you? My appearance. Yes. Um, I am a black hair. Okay. Not short, black hair. Okay, short. Black. Black. Hair. Hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, I am the. I am in my my forties. Uh, oh, very good. Forties, mm -hmm. let's say, right? Forties. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, um, I am a one meter seventy-eight centimeter. <laughs> oh yeah, so that means like medium height or mm -hmm. pretty tall. Uh, uh, me medium. Medium. Okay. Uh, medium tall. Medium height. Okay, very good. Thank you. Yeah. And also very good because you were talking about. In the first one, for example, cuando se trata del cabello, vamos a utilizar I have, okay, short, short, very good, black, black hair, okay. I am in my 40s, you tell me, right? Yes. 40s, uh -huh. Oh, jeez, you say, oh, so oh, okay, 40s. And then you tell me, um, I am median um yeah the median high very good okay. okay very good yes wonderful yes okay. entonces vamos a ocupar esto right cuando se trate de um por ejemplo de cabello vamos a ocupar i have yes or i has si yo hablar de su esposa o de su hijo o de su uh -huh. i don't know your co-worker o de su friend pues va a decir oh she has or he has Okay, uh -huh. cuando se trata de cabello, sí vamos a ocupar has. Y luego cuando se trata de otra cosa, por ejemplo, el age. Acuérdense que la edad siempre va con el verb to be, right? Yes. Entonces, ahí por eso, very good, Freddy utilizó I am in my 40s. Very good. Eh, also, mire, cuando se trata pues de estatura, right? ¿Recuerdan? Oh, I am tall, I am medium height. Very good. Yes. Very good. Entonces, vamos a utilizar el verb have or has, and also we're going to use the verb to be. Remember that this is first, uh, when I talk about myself, I use I am. But if I talk about somebody else, for example, Maria, oh, I'm sorry, Maria is, I'm sorry, has, or oh, has black hair, let's say, right? She, oh, sorry, she's pretty, yeah, she's pretty, yeah, uh, she's um, young, let's say, okay, so when we talk about this one, just with the hair, we're going to use has because we're talking about Maria, okay, yep. Y luego lo demás, well, it's going to be physical appearance, we're going to have verb to be. I could use a contraction, right? So you can use contraction if you want to. Oh, his, she's. Okay. Yeah. Um, very good. Janessi. Hello, Janessi. Good evening. Thank you so much. Good evening. Thank you. What about somebody else? What about somebody else? Not about you. Um, about my friend okay please um okay he has black short hair mm -hmm. he's medium height uh he has um 25 years he is young okay so he has or he is 
he he is uh, very good that's uh, great he's he's young and he is thin oh very good very good wonderful solo ahí al principio cuando me dijo del hair can you repeat he, that please he has black short hair Ahí primero tiene que ir el color va después del cabello. Perdón, antes de la palabra cabello. Entonces sería short black hair. Yes. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Very okay. good. Entonces Gracias. el color siempre va a ir a la par de la palabra hair. Ahí lo, ya sea long, straight, curly. Ese pues va antes del color. Ok. Very good. Yes. Eh, Marcos. Thank you, Marcos. Hello, teacher. Nice Good to evening. have you. Good evening. Uh, what about somebody else? Not about you. About somebody else. Okay. In this case, it's, it's my son. Okay. Uh, my son, um, he has short black and straight hair. Oh, that's good. Uh -huh. He is a young boy. Oh, very good. J eight years old. He's he's eight years old. He's look is good looking and handsome. Oh, very good. Okay, so he got buff. <laughs> okay, he's good looking and handsome. Ah, oh, that's good. Uh -huh. For me, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, your height is pretty tall for your age. Oh, his hair, his hair, or or his height, his height. Height. Oh, okay. Height. His height. Is pretty tall for your age. For his. For age. his okay. age. Exactly. Age. Very good. No, Very his good. His age. his height is is like. I think it's too much. It's too much for his age. Okay, it's too much. Too much. Okay. His high is too much for his age. Oh, very good. And very wait, good. he is think. Oh, think. that's good. That's good. Very good. He is think. Very good. He's think. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Great job. Yes. Um. Vamos a ver un poquito más uh, about Aperium. Solo déjenme tomar la attendance. Uh, recordarles, um, para esta semana tenemos lo de las actividades. Right? Como usted sabrá, pues, se desarrollan eh, pues, actividades en la plataforma. Eh, sí solicitarles, um, pues, porque me lo comunicaron, right, con el respecto a la entrega de esas actividades. ¿Ok? Sí. Uh, hay varios que están pendientes de algunas actividades. Eh, sí. En, en la plataforma y pues van este tomando apuntes sí pedirles que se pongan al día y en el caso tengan algún inconveniente con algún ejercicio pues pueden expresarlo ahí en el chat o whatsapp sí y pues uh, con gusto les, les voy a apoyar sí en ese aspecto entonces si usted no tenga pena igual si tiene pena escribir en el chat pues escríbame en privado y con gusto yo le apoyo eh, la idea es que usted vaya avanzando lo más pronto posible en el exercise right ¿Ves? En los exercises que están ahí. Porque tengo entendido que los piden con anterioridad. Y es, como usted sabrá, pues, los están pidiendo con anterioridad. Entonces, a veces no hemos terminado la semana y ya los están pidiendo. Entonces, uh, pues, uh, así está el, el, el sistema, right Y, y pues, así uh, pedirles que se pongan al día con los ejercicios. Y como le digo, eh, pues, si tiene usted algún inconveniente con alguno, pues, no duden en escribirme y con gusto le, le apoyo. Y es, en ese aspecto. Porque sí, uh, me solicitaron eso y igual estoy revisando aquí lo de la entrega de esas pues, actividades y estoy viendo pues, que algunos sí tienen eh, varias actividades eh, pendientes, right sí, y, y cualquier cosa, como les digo, escríbanme, eh, ya sea ahí en el WhatsApp group o en privado y con gusto pues, pues yo les, les, pues, les apoyo. Right? Normalmente siempre contesto entre las, entre las 11 y las 12 y luego entre las... Um, eh, tres y cuatro, sí, que tengo pues el, el time, so, so I can answer on that one, 
10 o a veces, muchas veces los felicito porque he visto en el grupo, pues que algunos compañeros pues siempre se apoyan, right? And that is, that is good. Yes. Um, so thank you so much for that. Uh, voy a tomar la attendance. When you hear your name, please say present, present or I'm here. Es que me da minutes. Eh, Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Good evening, Ana. Nice to have you. Blanca Isolina Guzmán Cruz. I'm here. Wonderful. It's nice to have you. Briseida Janet García de Crespin. Me dijo que es here just listening. Thank you so much. Cindy Stephanie Ramírez Rodríguez. Also, she is here just listening the class. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here. Thank you, Claudia. It's nice to have you. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. Present. Good evening. Welcome. Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Edith. Welcome. Good evening. Edwin Benjamin Sánchez Portillo. Oh, creo que Edwin, he was just listening, right? I guess so. Let me check that. Thank you, Cindy. I got you. Thank you so much. Edwin, are you here? Yes or no, Edwin? Let me check if Edwin is here. Edwin. Edwin Benjamin Sanchez. Yes, he's here, but he's probably he's busy, right? Yeah, thank you, Edwin. Ya le tomé la attendance, okay? So don't worry. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Nice to have you. Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Freddy. Good evening. Ileana Mariel Alvarado Mengibar. You told me that you are just listening. Yes, so welcome. Good evening. Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. Present. Thank you so much. Good evening. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Jacqueline Vanessa. Oh, thank you, Jacqueline. Good evening. Nice to have you. Janie Lisette Escobar Lucero. Present. Thank you so much. Good evening. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present. Thank you, Jorge. Welcome. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Jocelyn Present. Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Okay, love Jocelyn. Let me check the chat room soon, really quick. Oh, and then, okay, no. Okay, Jocelyn, oh, oh, oh no, that's Jacqueline. Let me see if I have her here. Okay, okay, let me check. Just, no, she isn't here. Okay, that's rare because she's usually here. Okay, uh, Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Thank you, Juan. Good evening. Nice to have you. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Present. Thank you so much. María Vilma Cortés Rivas. Present. Thank you so much. Good evening. Milena de Los Ángeles Aragón Pleites. Milena de Los Ángeles Aragón Pleites. Hello, Milena. Are you here? Let me check really quick. Milena de Los Ángeles. Oh, she is here, but she doesn't answer. I don't know. Okay. Probably she's busy. Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. Thank you so much, Ronald. Nice to have you. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. Let me check the chat. Sandra. Okay, Sandra, thank you so much. No problem. I got you here. Also, Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Hello. Santos, are you here? I'm here. Oh, thank you so much. Good evening. Welcome. Um, Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Thank you so much. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. I'm here. Wonderful. It's nice to have you. Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Jenny Marisol. Hello, Jenny. Let me check if Jenny is here. 
Jenny, Jenny. Jenny. Okay. Oh, yes, very good. Exactly. Thank you so much, Jenny. Ya le tome la tendence aquí. Okay. So let's get back to this thing that is describing appearance. That's what we're working. And again, this is this is very beautiful, this topic, because this thing helps us to communicate with people and we can describe the way people look, right? Maybe your wife, maybe your husband, maybe your children, right? So you can describe the way they look like. Let's begin with you, Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Tell me about you. I have... I have long black hair, black hair. I am in my old. I am medium short. Okay, very good. Ahí, Ana, sí le recomiendo, así como hizo Freddy's, right? Usted puede decir, por ejemplo, cuando tenemos en 10, right? Podemos decir uh, 30s, okay? Podemos decir 40s, okay? Y así es sucesivamente, yes? Si usted no quiere decir your age, right? Usted puede decir, oh, I am in my 40s. I am in my 30s, right? Okay, Ana? If you don't want to okay. say your age, right? Okay? Yes? Yes. Perfect. Maria Vilma, thank you. About you, Maria Vilma. Okay? Yes? Okay. Um, me, ¿verdad? Yes, this is about you. I have long and black hair. Very good. I am um, very, este, I am young. Okay, perfect. Um, I am very, very short and mirror thing. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Okay, so that means you're short. Okay, thank you. Very good, Maria. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Here we have other adjectives to describe people. If you see, appearance, hair, eyes, face, and body. Okay, so here we have more examples of adjectives that we can communicate uh, how the way these people look. We have beautiful, <gasps> Jesus, oopsie, sorry. Uh, we have beautiful, yes, uh, cute, gorgeous, Handsome, lo que teníamos in the previous one, young, old, pretty, stylish, stylish, right? Mira, aquí es más específico todavía. Stylish, alguien que se viste, right? Good, con los pantalones para tiendas, right? Attractive, oh, someone who's attractive, yes? Sueña bastante españolizado, right? Oh, that person looks attractive. Oh, very good. Hair, long, short, straight, curly, wavy, yes? Wavy. Okay, wavy, blonde, black, brown, and bold. Yes, eyes, big eyes, small eyes, blue, green, brown, black, aquí voy. Beautiful, okay, expensive, mire, and sparkling, sparkling, okay. And then we have face, look at that one, with face round so we have like as you may know right we have we everybody like is different which is very good we have round okay uh oval a square um we have big small youthful elegant attractive and charming oh mira aquí tenemos el prince charming se acuerdan de esa frase <laughs> yes Cuando estaba la Cinderella, right? Yes. Oh, Prince Charming, decía, right? Um, si ¿sí se acuerdan de eso, right? Yeah. Cuando estaba también, creo que salía en Shrek also. Que salía a uh, Prince Charming, que era en, ¿cómo se llamaba? Encantador, I guess that was the name, right? Yeah. Yes, Encantador. Uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> y se quitaba la, una rejilla y le decía así, yeah, okay. Entonces ahí salía el Prince Charming. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Ahí salía, right? Sí. Uh, and here with the body, lo que estábamos hablando, fat, think, slim. Estos dos se parecen bastante, igual skinny. Estos tres, think, slim, and skinny, son bastante, right? Slander, por la petite, I'm sorry, athletic, long, 
and curvy. So here we are adding a little bit more of adjectives when it comes to describing people appearance, right? Yes, we have the like the the this five appearance, hair, eyes, face, and body. Here we're gonna have this one, the basic one. We're gonna have light, straight, young, short, and tall. So what is the opposite? As you see here, we have one adjective and we're gonna write the opposite. What is the opposite of dark? It's light, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What about curly? What is the opposite of curly? Uh -huh. Straight. 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 Exactly, right? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. My mistake. Straight. Okay. So, very good. What about short? What is the opposite tall. of short? Tall. Oh, tall. tall. Exactly. Tall. What about long? Short. Short. Exactly. We go with short. Perfect. And what about elderly? Young, 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 exact, very good. Yes, very good. Uh, Freddy, hello, Freddy. Give me a letter from the alphabet, please. Okay. Give me a letter from the alphabet, Freddy. A letter from uh, the alphabet. Uh, I? No, a letter, a letter from the alphabet. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, write the opposite. Use the word. In no, the box. excuse excuse me, Fred. Un, a letter from the alphabet. The alphabet A B C. That one. One letter. One letter from the alphabet. Uh, um, B. B. Bravo or B. Victor. B. Uh, brave. Yeah, the brave. Okay, this letter B. Right. Very good. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Let me see. Somebody with that letter. Oh, oh, no, my gosh. Oh, no. Okay. No, nobody with that letter. Oh, no. Give me another letter, please. Thank you. Oh, Blanca. Blanca is Alina Guzman. Hello, Blanca. Hello, hello. Hello. Utilizando estos adjectives, descríbame a su vecino o vecina, please. Thank you. Oh, ahorita le ayudamos. Don't worry. ¿Cómo cree que comienza? How do you think it begins? Primero, mencionemos si es un, un uh, gentleman o una lady, right? Uh, he. Oh, so he. Ahora, ¿cuál va a ocupar? ¿Cómo lo va a describir? Right? ¿Qué es lo primero que va a describir? Oh, oh, very good. Si vamos a ocupar has, right? Blanca, vamos a hablar del cabello, right? So he has. Okay. He has. Um... Los adjetivos que van con el con el hair, miren, aquí los tenemos, right? Uh -huh. Yes, Blanca. He has curly. Hair, okay. He has curly hair, okay. ¿Qué más me puede decir usted about him? Vamos a hablar de la estatura, Blanca. Okay, ¿cómo comienza? Blanca. Oh, okay, he, very good. He has... Oh, cuando es de la estatura, sure. vamos a ocupar el verb to be. He is. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. He is. Ajá. ¿Cómo me dijo? Short. Oh, very good. Short. Mire. Sí. Very good. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más me puede decir? About his age. Vamos a hablar about his age. Ok. ¿Cómo comienza Blanca? Mm, he's... Oh, very good. He is. Young. Young. Very good. Mire. Easy, right? This is not difficult, right? So, mire. Oh, he has curly hair. He is short. He's young. What is his name? Um, 
no lo sé. <laughs> no, let's No invent. sé qué. <laughs> ok. ¿Cuál es, what is, what is his name? El nombre de él, what is his name? Eh, eh, no lo sé. Ok. Julio, Julio. <laughs> ok. Ok, Julio, ok. His name is Julio. Let's say. Very good. Right? Y así es como lo describimos. Mire, utilizando estos adjectives. He has curly hair. He is short. He is young. His name is Julio. Very good, Blanca. Thank you so much. Any question about this? No? Okay. Let's continue. No, thank you. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to have this conversation. She's so pretty. Edith, do you understand the title of this conversation? Um, <clears throat> um, She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the song? Pretty? Huh? Yeah. It's something like that, Edith. Okay. What is pretty, Edith? Bonita. Exactly. En la palabra so es para hacerlo como big. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. to, to, to emphasize. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Just to emphasize that this uh, woman is pretty. Okay. Now, do me a favor, please, Claudia. Do you see these people here? Describe the people, Claudia, please. Okay. Um, he has mustache and beard. Beard. He ha beard, sir. And he's he has um brown hair, brown and straight hair, or straight brown hair. Oh, it's, it's straight brown brown hair. Very good. It's straight brown hair. Um, uh, he look like he's tall. And he's thin and he has white skin. Oh, very good. Okay, that's good. And she, she has long straight hair. Uh, she has uh, brown eyes. Um, a pretty smile. And she's thin. And I think she's tall too. Yeah. Or, uh, or fairly. Sh nah, she's tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it, right? That's very good. Thank okay. you so much. So we're going to work about Lauren and Justin. I will play the audio so you can listen the way they talk about describing people. Let's listen and read. Unit 9. What does she look like? Page 59. Exercise 2. Conversation. She's so pretty. Part A. Listen and practice. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Justin. Yes, her name's Tiffany. She's really smart, and she's so pretty. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About five foot ten, I suppose. Yeah, that is pretty tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful brown hair. And how old is she? I don't know. I think it's a little rude to ask. Unit 9. What does she look like? Page 59. Exercise 2. Conversation. She's so pretty. Part A. Listen and practice. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Justin. Yes, her name's Tiffany. She's really smart, and she's so pretty. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About five foot ten, I suppose. Yeah, that is pretty tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful brown hair. And how old is she? I don't know. I think it's a little rude to ask. Thank you. Question for you, Daniela. Good evening. Nice to have you. Um, 
Daniela, can you participate? Yes. Hi, good evening, teacher. Oh, yes. Do you think it's a little rude to ask a girl about her age? No, I don't know why he don't know her age. I mean, it's, <laughs> no, his, it's his, bo his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, but, but he's like trying to, I don't know, impress her, I guess. But like the question is like, do you think it's, it's rude to ask? Like if I, somebody... It's a gentleman. If a gentleman asks you about your age, do you think it's rude to do that? For me, it's not rude. Okay. But yeah. I don't know for someone else. Oh, thank you so much for sharing that. Very good. Okay. So what are the other adjectives, Maria Vilma? What are the other adjectives that we have here? Que no hemos visto todavía. What are the other adjectives? Uh -huh. María Vilma, ¿cuál es un adjetivo nuevo para usted que no lo haya visto todavía, right? I heard you have a new car friend, Justin. Yes, her name is Tiffany. Uh -huh. María Vilma, ¿no? ¿O, o ya conoce, ya vio todos los adjetivos? Yes. Oh, Marcos, no problem, María, no problem, ok. Marcos. He is uh, really smart. Exactly, mm -hmm. smart, mm -hmm. smart, mm -hmm. smart, right? Smart is like intelligent, something like that, yeah? So, for example, we have a smart TV, yeah? So, smart is someone who's intelligent. What's so the that's meaning, another... uh, teacher, what's the meaning expression about five foot ten? Oh, foot, son, son este, es pies, es un pie, right? So, se le dice five to ten. I suppose. Pues aquí es un pie, right? Sí. Acuérdense que hay medición de, de pues, se miden en pies. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, that is pretty tall. That is pretty tall. Por eso le dice ella. Oh, yeah. That is pretty tall. Le dice. Because it's like, it's a lot, right? It's a lot. Um, What color is it hair? Oh, look at this one. Beautiful. Brown hair. Mira aquí tenemos beautiful, right? That is another one. Teacher is smiling. What oh, what is that? Smiling. A smiling, a smiling. I don't I don't find it. A smiling. Uh, ¿Dónde está eso? Um, uh, Ana? No, no, no está. Solamente por oh. los dibujos que ellos están sonriendo. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> They're smiling. Exactly. That is right. They're smiling, right? They're, they're happy. They're happy. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much, Anna. Entonces, uh, because of the time, we won't be able to get into the breakout room, so I will hear a few of you participating here. Uh, let me get Evers. Evers, usted es Lauren. And um, <coughs> Janet Lisette. Perdón, el Evers, you are Justin. And Janet? Janet Lisette Escobar. Hello. Good evening. Okay. Hello, but it's Jean Lisette. Oh, no, I'm it's sorry. Janet. no, it's Janet. Oh, Jean, I apologize, Jean. Okay. Uh, you're going to be Lauren, Jean. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I heard you have a new girlfriend, Justin. Yes. Her name's Tiffany. She's really smart and she's so pretty. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About five foot ten, I suppose. Yeah, that is pretty tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful brown hair. And how old is she? I don't know. I think it's a little rude to ask. That's very good, the two of you. Also, I love the passes you were making, Jean, and also Evers. Very good. Jorge, you are Justin? Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa, hello. 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 Jenny, you are Lauren. Ready? Let's begin. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Justin. Yes, her name is Tiffany. She is really smart and she's so pretty. Really? What does she look like? Well, she is very tall. 
how tall? About five foot ten, I suppose. Yeah, that is pretty tall. What color is her height? Height. She has beautiful brown hair. And who all is she? I don't know. I think this a little rude to ask. Very good. Also, I love this conversation because of this question. Mire. What does she look like? How tall? What color is her hair? How old is she? Typical questions when it comes to describing people. Yes. And this is the way you can talk about somebody. In this case, we're talking about a care friend. But maybe you can talk about your father. Maybe you can talk about your children. Maybe you can talk about your friend. Or maybe your boss. I don't know. Whoever you want. But you can have these questions. And also, if you notice, solo estamos utilizando, right? No, not too much grammar. Los adjectives, verb to be. Verb to be. El verb has. Right? And have. Yes. And then the expression, I think, I don't know, which is simple present. We're going to stop it here and we will continue working on this one tomorrow, I hope. If you have any question about the exercise, let me know in the chat on WhatsApp. Thank you so much. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.